Recording? Thousand percent sure? Take a while out how that started. Miami Concours Fun Fest Extravaganza for the Miami Design District Concours. Well, yeah, you can do it here, that here way. in downtown Miami <laughs> with Carlos Bedoya. Yes. How are you doing, sir? Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, one of my oh god, I love you. I love you <laughs> <laughs> for many reasons. We don't need to go into, but car, car related reasons. You are. How do you? Why do you love cars so much? Well, long story short. Um, I grew up in New Jersey. I was a young kid. My brother rented Cannonball Run. This one? Cannonball Run, where Burt Reynolds was a movie. Yeah. And this car behind me, which is the Lamborghini Countach, was in it. And at that point, I knew I was gonna, I needed to be involved with these cars. So at the age of six years old, my first love was is what's sitting behind me right now. So in your bedroom, what did you have on the wall? I had a white and red Countach and a red Diablo, which is what I'm involved with now. So, okay, so Lamborghini then. Not Ferrari, it's got to be Lamborghini. Lamborghini. What is it? What is it about? <laughs> well, the, the reason I love Lamborghini so much is because he pushes the envelope, and a Lamborghini is a car that you got to drive. You can't be on the phone, you, you can't be distracted. <laughs> if you drive a Lamborghini, you really got to concentrate. You can't text and drive. It has too much torque, too much horsepower. It's one of those. power steering. These older cars, they don't have too much power steering. And you can't see out the back. No, you cannot and see it's out the back. To get in. You need you open up the door and you look behind you. That's how you do it. <laughs> so you're like you, you I, I I often tell people about you. People I often tell people about you because you're basically the guy who cleans the car. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a master detailer here in Miami. But that's like you, you are I'm trying to I'm trying to think of something your equivalent in another industry. Well, basically. the th the thing is that an, an average car wash they they care about quantity. They care about doing a lot of cars to get paid. I I spend I spend maybe two weeks on a car. And you're like the gateway into engine compartments, uh, paint correction. I remove swirl marks. I remove sand marks. Um, you're like an artist. Yeah, then. I leave them very. I leave them show ready. Because it, it is an absolute. I've yeah. cleaned a car and it takes me an hour. Yeah. And I think I've done a great job. Yeah. But really. Here at, I work for Curated Investments with John Tamarian in downtown Miami, and um, I'm very blessed. Before that, I worked for Prestige, uh, Lamborghini Miami. Yeah. So I've always worked with Lamborghini. That's my passion. Um, but I've learned a lot from those guys, and we're a team, and everybody specializes in something. My thing is the paint correction part, and then we got people at the mechanical part. So we, we make, we form, we form like a good team. Yeah. You're, 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 I'm still trying to work out my analogy here. <laughs> For example, the car behind us, we can't have all these people walking behind us. Yeah, can't have all these people. It adds to the... Um, to so, the, to the, the car behind me is one of two in the world. It's a 1981 Lamborghini Countach twin turbo. It's, there's only two. They only made two. And made two of what? The twin turbo? Though? Twin turbo Countaches. And it was done by the... It was done at the Lamborghini factory, which was, makes it very significant. It's not an aftermarket, somebody in the garage. Lamborghini approved it. With your job because it sounds so mundane, you clean cars, but my god, it's not mundane. <laughs> well, I'm you blessed. Have to follow him on yeah, Instagram. I'm blessed. I'm blessed that uh, the cars that we have, they're like one, one or seven in the U.S. Really low. Yeah. Our thing is under 10,000 miles, one or two owners documented vehicles. Our cars have to be documented. Yeah, and that's part of the curating thing. Yes. Full yes. History. We have we have an XJ220. Really rare. We have that downdraft, which is our baby. That red car right there is our baby. So downdraft means what? It has four carburetors. It's a quattro valve. It has four carburetors, and it's an SV, super veloz. It's very. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm not a car guy. I can see that is a thing of beauty, and I can <laughs> understand that it was from the. 80s. I can show you the engine. It has it has it has two turbos, and the technology is 1981. So to have that kind of technology in an 81 is crazy. And how many miles has it got? This car is under, man, it's, it has like 8,000 miles or something. Really low mileage. But that's still, for a car that age, that's been driven then. That yeah, it, it, we, we just got that car recently. Yeah. John's Instagramming it all the time. Yeah, that's John's baby. That's yeah. his new baby. <laughs> so for you then? Yeah, like right now we have Valentino Balboni. He's present here. Um, 
you know, for me, he, he's like he's like every Lamborghini guy enthusiast knows who he is. He's a he's your hero. He's, a, he's an icon. Yeah, I named I named my son after him, <laughs> and he's here. And um, he actually signed the back of one of our cars, which was great. He signed the Diablo, so um, you know it's very exciting. We've got a pen. We may have to get him to sign one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. So your your career has really been making 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 supercars uh, pristine, making them look show ready. And you never wanted to get into the mechanics of it. Or anything, or anything I like I you know not really. I, I I like the mechanical part, the performance part, but my thing has always been detail. And, I mean, yeah, to me, you're let me tell you why. Because I was a porter for for a Jaguar dealer, and then somebody somebody saw the potential in me and made me a detailer, and. Um, and I didn't want to let him down, so I kept doing it, and then from there, I've been doing it ever since. I'm very respected here in Miami for my craft. Uh, I think that I mean, your work is amazing, but it's you as well. You can hear it, it's a swing turbo. <laughs> Next time, next time we're gonna put stanchions so a lot, so these people won't walk in front of us. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> trust me, it adds to the whole. Uh, we're, yeah. we're in the hunt. So no, one thing I was gonna say about you is the first time I met you, you are so open and approachable, but you work in such a high network, high net worth world. Yeah. And most people in that kind of category are very snobbish. No, very no, definitely not me. No, not at all. And that's, no, definitely not me. You, you add such warmth. Created. Yeah. Now you, you live in America. Yes. What's the fastest you've ever driven? Actually, I, I, <laughs> we could beat this bit out. Just, uh... I've done, I've done not in a car, in a Suzuki Hayabusa motorcycle. I've done 186 miles an hour, and in a, in a Porsche GT2, I've done 170. Is it like it Man, it's, you get it. The only thing I can tell you is, it's like if you're in a roller coaster and you, and you get that, that feeling in your stomach. It's there. Yeah. So, you get that peripheral vision. You look frontwards. You know, I don't recommend going that fast, no. but if you're going to do it, make sure there's no stoplights. <laughs> I think you have a spare pair of trousers. Yeah, that's quite important. <laughs> center lane, center lane always in case you got to maneuver right or left. That's what the only thing I can tell you. Okay, well, we're not, but, we're not advocating any yeah, of that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. On a track only. On a track. <laughs> He asked me what I've done and that's what I've done. No, thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming out to our show.